Okay, so we are on workbook page 477, and we're going to be doing chapter 6, lesson 5, which is properties. We're going to do the independent practice problems together, so make sure you're following along, writing in your workbook, but I'm writing. So here are the directions. Determine whether the two expressions are equivalent. Equivalent means to be equal, but they look a little bit different. If so, tell what property is applied. If not, explain why. So let's see if these are equivalent. Okay, so we have to follow order of operations. So first we're gonna do eight plus 27. That gives us 35. And then 35 plus 52, that gives us 87. For the second expression, do what's in the parentheses first, which is 27 plus 52, that's 79. And then 79 plus 8, that's 87. So they are equivalent. They both equal 87. So now let's see what property was used. So first we have 8 plus 27 in the parentheses plus 52 on the outside. Then we have 8 on the outside and 27 plus 52 in parentheses. So let's see if the order of the numbers change. So we have 8, 27, then 52, 8, 27, then 52. So because the order of the numbers didn't change, it's not the commutative property. So the only thing that changed is the parentheses shifted from 8 and 27 to 27 and 52. So when the order of the numbers stay the same but the parentheses move, that's the associative property. Number two, three times six in parentheses times nine outside, three outside times in parentheses six times nine. So let's see if they're equivalent. Six times three is 18, and then 18 times nine is 162. So for the other expression, we have six times nine first, which is 54. And then 54 times 3 is 162. So, yes, they are equivalent. Yes, equal 162. I forgot to write yes up here. Yes, they are equivalent. And then same thing as before, 369, 369. So the order did not change, so it's not commutative. The only thing that changed was the parentheses. So again, this is the associative property. That's when the parentheses shift. Number three, 72 on the outside minus 63 minus eight inside, 72 minus 63 in the parentheses minus eight on the outside. So let's see if these are equivalent. 63 minus eight is 55. And then 72 minus 55 is 17. And then the other one, we have 72 minus 63 is 9, and then 9 minus 8 is 1. So they are not equivalent. And the reason is because there is no associative property for subtraction. It's only for addition and multiplication. I'm going to abbreviate, no associative or subtraction. It looks like the associative property because the numbers are in the same order, but the parentheses shifted, but the associative property does not work for subtraction. So technically, that's not a property. Number four, okay, let's see. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and then 36 divided by 4 is 9, and then... 36 divided by 12 is 3, and then 3 divided by 3 is 1. Again, not equivalent. And again, this looks like the associative property because the orders, the numbers are in the same order, but the parentheses moved. But there is no associative property for division. So when you change the order of division 
problems or subtraction problems, the answer changes, but it doesn't change for a multiplication or addition. Okay, number five, zero plus 32 is 32, and that's not equal to just zero. So this is not equivalent. This looks like it would be the identity property, but the identity property says that anything plus zero equals itself. And this is saying that zero plus 32 and zero are equivalent, which is not correct. Okay, we're gonna skip to the bottom. Use one or more properties to rewrite each expression as an expression that does not use parentheses. So if we were to follow order of operations, we would have to do y plus 1, but we can't do y plus 1 because we don't know what y is. So what we can do is shift the parentheses to 1 and 4 by the associative property, and then we can solve y plus 5. And then that's the expression. That's as far as we can solve it because we don't know what y is. For number 9, this says 6 times r, and again, we can't do 6 times r. We don't know what r is. So what we can do is first switch the order of r and 6 by the commutative property. That means the commutative property is when you move the spots of two different numbers or variables. Now that we've switched the order, we can shift the parentheses by the associative property so that we have 6 and 7 together. So then 6 times 7 is 42, so we get r times 42. And we could just write that as 42r. Remember a number next to a letter? That means multiplication. So you don't have to put a multiplication symbol there. Okay, last two. Find the value of x that makes this statement true. So 24 plus what equals itself? So x would be 0 by the identity property. Number 11, 17 plus x equals 3 plus 17. x should be 3 by the commutative property.